Letting political lies disguise the future. Brainwash through computer. Cars constantly no. polluting. No, no, we're we're trying to fresh, we have to bring some fresh ideas. Are you guys on Spotify? Lots of opportunities here. Hi, I'm Joey. And I'm Sean. We were recently commissioned to restructure an up-and-coming art city. Where our passion is our work. And creativity is our currency. <laughs> There's a lot of opportunity here. So we are actually going to gentrify, uh, excuse me, renovate these abandoned buildings. No, these are art studios. Really? People work here. Yeah, they like it like this. It's edgy. Our city actually hosts a curated indie arts film festival where the pieces are real and anti-establishment. Graciously sponsored by massive corporations. Thank you, Merrill Lynch. For this block, we're going to have a brewery, a dispensary, and a coffee shop. And for tax write-off purposes, we're going to put art in all of them. Art breweries. Art dispensaries. Art, art coffee, coffee shops. shops. Lots of opportunities here. we got to remind people to clean up after their drum circles. Lots of opportunities here! It's a Subaru. Art City Vibe, Subaru. Uh, so this is pretty neat. Vandalism is actually art here. Yeah, I'm not really sure who ACAB is, but his graffiti really speaks to me. It says his work is predominant in Portland and Minneapolis. Turn all of this into art studios. Art studios. Yeah, those are already rented out. Who rented them? Artists. Local artists actually showcase their work in this brewery. I wouldn't want to display my art where I work. That uh, art piece right there actually represents a tax write-off. Good doing business with you. Mobile art studio. That's a studio. Yeah. To to embrace the art identity our city has, we actually put up an urban outfitter. Very edgy. Very edgy. Why drink water when you can drink liquid gold? Oh, you got another cup of coffee? No, I poured beer in here. That's the hemp infused IPA. Yes, it is. So we're starting the green initiative. 80% of the town is going to be a grow room. And we do sell art in the front. It's a grower and a shower. So that's a hotel for tourists. Hotel for tourists. Well, as hold well. on. I thought our economy was based on art. No, the art brings people here, but we make the money on them staying here and going to the breweries. Good vibes only. No, don't do that. So this is actually Neil Young's wine market. Oh, nice. I hope he visits one day. Vegan pizza. Looks like there aren't going to be a lot of starving artists in this city. Uh, no, this is actually pretty disgusting. I'm not going to finish this. Yep. I love coming to paint and sips. I mean, the wine's usually a lot cheaper, and there's always newly divorced women there. I made this. Oh, God. It was more of a paint and chug for me. Oh, it's a Subaru. Oh, it's the new Forester. You know you're in an art city when the less successful you look, the more successful you are. You're telling me that guy's not homeless. No, that's actually one of the richest guys in the city. Oh. Is that Ben or Jerry? Kendall. You're two weeks late on rent. Sunflower, we know your Etsy page is down, but we need the rent. You can tell we're in an art city because having multiple partners is progressive. My kind of city. I don't think your therapist would agree with that. She's just pissed off that I broke up with her. You can tell you're in an art city because being misunderstood is rewarded. Sometimes you have to be lost in order to be found. Sounds like the hard kombucha has opened up his fourth eye. I'm talking about the third eye. You know you're in an art city when meditation is considered exercise. I did not realize you were doing yoga. I started after Michelle left me for our yoga instructor. White guy with dreadlocks, correct? Yeah, Blake works here. I'm gonna go say hi. <laughs> Looking forward to the future of our great city, we are really going to hinge on our artists. And taking advantage of using their work to bring in tourism and tax write offs I mean, no one's actually coming here to buy the art. They're coming here to look at the art and then Go to party. dispensaries, breweries, coffee shops. And if the art is ever not profitable, we are going to pivot to being a cannabis run town. Anyway, you want to go to, want to, go to a paint sip? I need a drink. Would you like to buy this painting I, got, I made at a paint and sip? I'm okay, thank you. It's only, it's, it's only $1,000. Oof. Damn, no. Oh. Didn't even think twice.